Hey guys, quick tidbit before the video gets started. So the Legend of Vox Machina reactions are ending on the channel for the time being. So I wanted to throw out um, to you guys to provide some suggestions of things that you guys would love to see me react to. Um, it could be anything from TV shows, animes, movies, cartoons, things like that. So definitely would appreciate those suggestions. Leave them down in the comment section down below and I will accommodate. But enough of that noise, we're gonna get started with the reaction. What up, what up, what's up, good people? Celeviathan here, and we're back with another reaction today. Today we are continuing up The Legend of Vox Machina. We're on episode 11. Quick recap of that one, you know, we, we met Anna Ripley, you know, um, she was imprisoned by the Briarwoods. She was working with them um, in the past and she tortured uh, Percy and things like that. She she seems like a person of science as she claims herself, that she only she only going for the pursuit of science, you know? So the whole time, you know, she's trying to show them around, trying to figure out where the ziggurat is. The whole time it kept feeling like she was going to betray them, like there was something looming that she was gonna betray them but at this but a uh, big twist over here you know turns out that Cassandra was actually affiliated with the Briarwoods so she ends up betraying them and puts them into basically a trap where there's like acid kind of falling and they kind of have to escape from that I wasn't surprised about Cassandra betraying them because for a while they kept feeling like there was um some resentment that she was holding for Percy like the way that she was looking at him and stuff like that Percy kind of um a little bit reeling over what happened with his sister so I don't know how he's gonna deal with that one um, I don't know if he'll be kind of inclined into saving her or you know putting her onto the list um, we're just gonna get started with that one don't forget to like share and subscribe turn on notifications down below so you know when I upload next and also make sure you check out that patreon link for full uncut reactions of this show other animes movies tv shows things like that check it out honestly if it's for you i appreciate all the support that comes on there but without further ado we're gonna get started with the legend of vox machina episode 11 whispers at the ziggurat let's go <laughs> Yo, look at her looking all evil and menacing like. <laughs> it begins. I definitely feel like they're trying to re resurrect the whispered one, I think, onto the mortal plane. <gasps> we should focus on this book. It's some kind of fucked up evil diary. Drawings, the symbols that all had to do with that name. The, the, was it uh, the, the whispered one? The oh wait, the whispered? yeah, the whispered one. You've heard that name? Once, uh, from an elder of the Everlight. They said he's some sort of undead creature whose soul seeks the power to return to our plane. I was 100% on the money there. If this whispered one wants to cross over, now is the time to do it. And the Briarwoods must be trying to help him. I don't give a shit what they're doing. I just want my brother back. I'm, I'm excited, honestly. These last few episodes are going to be quite intense, I can already tell. Okay, I'll take Vax. Piece of cake. Grog, I want him alive. Oh, uh, then I got Cassandra. No, she will answer to me. <laughs> Poor Cassandra, <laughs> man. <laughs> Leaving. I'm afraid you overestimate my willingness in this endeavor. Yes, <laughs> go ahead. Please don't let please don't let this one escape. She's she's way too damn evil. Until next time. No. No. Can't do it. Too loud. Oh man, the thing the thing is taking him over as I was mentioning before. Don't care. It's telling him. Orthax. That's the thing's name. Cassandra, no sorry, um, Delilah's one of the more scariest here. ones here, man. Sure, her powers are like equal to Keyleth. <laughs> so long for this. You'll have to go through me. Oh no, man. For 
fresh blood for my feet. Oh, hell no! Yo. Yo. Everybody's putting in the work. Everyone's putting in work here. Yeah, let's go, Pike. Let's go, Pike. Oh, damn. No, 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 no. Don't Shit. Not gonna be able to forgive himself if he does this. They murdered our family. They are my family. They took me in when you left me to die. You abandoned me, but the whispered one won't. Shit! This is, this is gonna end really badly. I can tell. This episode is gonna end in somebody's death. I am impressed with Pike. She's holding this guy off heavily right now. Yeah, take down the stupid vampiric bastard, man. Take his ass out. No! 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 Please! No! No! Vengeance is taking over, man. She's been compelled! Time for your weakness. There is work to be done. Kayla, do something! I can't. Please! Stop! She's gonna try to revive the sun tree? Those are its roots. Sun tree? I'm Keyleth. Of the air, Shari. I know you're there. I love that. <laughs> he's, al he's already been taken out of it. <laughs> Damn, yo. These two have such a strong bond, man. If she ever if she ever lost him, she would be devastated and vice versa. It's coming full circle. Her overcoming Delilah's crazy ass necromancy. Coming oh, full circle. Oh, Pike! Oh, thank God, that's over. Uh, we meet again. Hell yeah, man! Hell yeah! <laughs> I was waiting for this. I was waiting for this, man. This guy has too many powers, man. He can compel Perhaps somebody to stop them from hitting them? Interesting. Krog is sometimes really smart, man. Real men are me. Yes. Burn his ass! Burn his ass! Burn his ass! Keep them out of darkness. So every one of these characters are so good. I've loved this little like character development we've been getting with all of them. And Keila being the light. Yeah. Burn his ass, man. Burn his ass. Shh. Ooh. Uno reversal card, eh?
Goodbye, Silas Briarwood. See you, dude. That kill was mine. Don't they need a sacrifice though to unlock the whispered one? I did everything you asked. I took Whitestone. I unearthed this place. Now bring my Silas back. Honor our bargain. He already did though. The whispered one already did. He gave him he gave you Silas back. Open the door! I need to get in there now! Take it easy, she ain't going nowhere. They need to put Percy in some handcuffs right away, man. Lock this guy up, he's un un unhinged. You can do this, we're right behind you. Plus the whole world's at stake, so try not to fuck up. You always know what I need to hear, Stubby. Bro, nobody was like noticing the, the smoke in the back while per looming on Percy. Delilah! <laughs> Building up. Stop! They were no match for her. She's about to. She's about to un unearth the uh, the whispered one. Oh man. Some crazy ass demon is about to come out. No! Oh, Keyleth. Shit. Uh, part of me. Yeah. You see, I, I had that feeling, man. There was death flag somewhere. Percy killed her quickly, but like, I don't know if that was the best decision. She's still alive, but barely. I need to do this quickly before. <sighs> Worth timing ever! She's gone. And Keyleth will be too if we don't do something fast. What is that thing over there, though? What is that? Hoy ve, crazy, crazy episode. <laughs> On to the finale, I guess. Man, oh man, what a crazy episode, honestly. <laughs> Quick recap off of there, you know. We start off where, right where we left off, you know, with the Briarwoods kind of um, trying to uh, use the Ziggurat to, I guess, unearth, um, awaken the Whispered One. Most of this episode was a lot of a lot of fights. You know, we had Vax versus Vax. You know, we had Keyless kind of um, connecting with the Sun Tree and um, you know reviving it and creating some sunlight. You know, we had like a lot of the Silas stuff too. We finally learned what the thing inside Percy is. I think it's called Orthax, as what they were saying on um, the subtitles over there. So that thing is a crazy, crazy monster, and it's inside him. And now it's starting to push him. Now it's starting to take over, saying, "No." That kill was mine! It was mine! Like, this thing, I don't know what the hell this demon thing is, but the Percy needs to keep it in check. That last part with uh, Lila seeing Silas dead, she runs in, tries to revive the Whispered One, which I don't understand because it's not, they said they needed a sacrifice, but it didn't look like she was going there to get a sacrifice anyway, so. 
doesn't make any sense. Maybe that's why the, the spell didn't end up working because it turns out she didn't summon the whispered one, but there was this weird ball thing that got summoned that was gyrating, you know? One of the sad things in this episode was Keyless sacrificing herself for Vex. I think in that moment, Vex was shocked. She was like, why would you do that? Why would you do that? In her mind, she always felt that there was nobody, there's nobody that um, that that she would ever care for except for her brother and vice versa, right? Like they they would be the only two people who would care for each other. So in her understanding, Keyless jumping in and sacrificing herself for her, she can't understand that. She's like, why would you do that? Why? Oh, it's tough. I, I hope Keyleth can survive this. She is my favorite character, I think. She is so powerful. She is the number one character in, like, helping everybody in the crew. She's the most useful person in the whole crew. Like, she, she's... I don't think she's gonna die. I think she's gonna be okay. But this is this is really... This is hard. This is tough. I think I'm gonna end the, the video here. Um, I will see you guys around. Take care. Thank you guys all for the support you give. Greatly appreciative. Keeps pushing me to do these videos more. But with that note, I will see you guys around. Bye.